Hi guys, here welcome to MJ Apparel Tutorial and in today's class we'll be learning how to make a six pieces blouse. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and also share this video. Now we go into the tutorial proper. First, draw a straight line which will serve as the shoulder line. Next, you insert the vertical measurement which is the shoulder to the bust point, shoulder to the under bust, shoulder to waist and the full length of the blouse. The shoulder to the bust point I'm working with is 10.5, shoulder to the under bust is 13.5, shoulder to the waist is 16.5 and the full blouse length I'm working with is 26. Mark the point and draw a straight horizontal line. Next, you label the lines. Here we have the bust point, here under bust, here is the waist, and here is the blouse length, also called the hip line. The next thing we will be doing is to insert the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Mark the 7.5 at this point. After marking, come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Next, from this 1 point inch, you come down by 8 inch for the armhole depth. The armhole depth I'm using is 8 inch. Next, you connect the point together using a straight line. But before then, I'm going to be measuring the 7.5 shoulder measurement on this point so that I'll be able to draw a straight line. After marking, I'll connect the two points together using a straight line. This line here will serve as the chest line. Next, insert the nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement I'm working with is 8.25 divided by 2 because we are cutting on fold is 4.1. Mark the 4.1 on the chest line and on the hip line which is the blouse length line. After that, you connect the two points together using a straight line. Next, tighten the underbust and the waist. And in doing that, I'm going to be taking out 2 inch for the dart to tighten the underbust and the waist. Mark the 2 inch at this point on both the underbust and the waist. After marking, you connect the two points together using a straight line. Mark the same 2 inch on the hip line and also connect it to waist using a straight line. Next, connect the bust point to the under bust. But before then, come down by 1 inch on the bust point. After that, you connect to the under bust from the 1 inch point you came down by using a slight curve. This is done so that there will be room for the bust to fit in well when the dress is being worn. After this, next step is to take out the armhole that. And in doing that, you locate the midpoint of the armhole depth. The armhole depth I'm working with is 8 inch divided by 2 is 4 inch. I'm going to be marking the 4 inch. After marking, I will connect to 1 inch above the bust point line using a straight line. Next, take out 1.5 inch for the armhole that. After that, you connect to 1 inch above the bust point using a straight line. Next, this 1.5 inch we took out here, we're going to be replacing it at this point. So we'll be going up by 1.5 inch at this point. Then we connect the points using a straight line. We are doing this for balance because if we should leave it this way, when it comes to joining, the measurement is going to be short. So next, we'll blend the bust area to eliminate every sharp edge so that there will be no sharp edge at the bust point. So this is what we are going to be having after blending it. Next, draw the neckline. You can draw whatever neckline you want, but for this illustration, I'm going to be drawing a simple neckline 
with a neck width of 3.5 and neck depth of 3.5 after which I'll connect using a curve. Next, draw the shoulder slope for the blouse. After marking the shoulder slope, next insert the bust measurement, the waist measurement and the hip measurement. Insert the bust measurement on the chest line. The bust measurement I'm working with is 36 divided by 4 is 9. Mark the 9 inch at this point. Then this that intake you have here, what you took out here, yeah, I have 0 0.25. I'm going to be marking it at this point. Then for the waist, I'm using the waist 31 inch divided by 4, 7.75. I'm going to be marking the 7.75 at this point then this two inch that we took out i'm going to be replacing it at this point then we'll go over to the hip the hip measurement i'm working with is 39 divided by 4 is 9.75 i'll be marking the 9.75 at this point then this two inch i have here i'll be replacing it at this point after which i'll connect the sides together using a straight line Let's draw the armhole for the front of the blouse. This is what we are going to be having for the front. You can decide to go ahead and sew your six pieces like this or you can decide to add the flea on the lower part. Remember most six pieces have this flea on the lower part. Next thing we are going to be doing is to add the flea and in doing that we are going to be using 3 inch for each flea. We are going to be adding 3 inch as the flea for the blouse. First I'm going to be extending the line I have here. I will extend it after extending it i'm going to be taking out three inch for the flay of the side panel for the side panel we're going to be adding the flay to this side of the side panel i'll mark three inch after marking i'll connect to the waistline using a straight line like this so this is for the side panel This is what the side panel is going to look like. Next, we'll be drawing the other flay for this part. And in doing that, we'll be coming in by 3 inch also, after which we'll connect to the waist using a straight line. This is what the side panel is going to look like with the flay. We have two flay for this side and for the other side. Next is to shape the side of the flea because we can't leave it with the sharp edge like this and in doing that we're going up by one inch after going up by one inch you connect to this point like this using a slight curve. After drawing the curve you should have something like this. We should have a little curve on the lower part of the blouse. Now we'll be moving over to the center panel of the blouse. We are going to be attaching the flay for the center panel of the blouse and in doing that first thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out this point like this down to the waist of the side panel of the six pieces. After cutting it down to the waist, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to attach another paper underneath the center panel so that I'll be able to draw the flay for the center panel of the six pieces. So I'm going to be attaching it this way and I'll secure it using my masking tape. So cutting the six pieces blouse is easier when you're cutting on the pattern paper before transferring to your main fabric. So you place it this way and secure with a masking tape. After securing it with a masking tape, I'm going to be redrawing my nipple to nipple line and also the hip line of the blouse. The paper I'm using is transparent but if yours is not transparent, you will have to measure the nipple to nipple line again or use a tracing wheel to trace out the line. So I'm going to be drawing the line this way to complete the nipple to nipple measurement. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to measure the 3 inch for the flay. Then after measuring it, I'll connect to the waistline using a straight line. So this will serve as the flay for the center panel of the six pieces 
blouse after connecting next you cut it out when cutting be careful so you don't cut the side panel of the bust here so you lift the paper up this way and cut it through After cutting, this is what the front panel of the six pieces blouse will look like. The center panel will be cut on fold while the side panel is going to be cut out separately. So this is what you are going to be having after cutting it out. Next, we'll be moving over to draft the back of the six pieces blouse. Now I'll be drafting the back of the six pieces blouse. Here I've taken out the zipper allowance of 1.5 inch. This is my shoulder line, the shoulder slope, the armhole depth for the back. Here we have the chest line, the bust point line, the waist line, and the hem line. Next, we are going to be inserting the nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement for the back and the front is the same. Remember, for the front, the nipple to nipple measurement we use was 8.2 divided by 2, which is 4.1. I'm going to be marking it on the chest line, on the waist, and on the hem line, after which I'll connect the point together using a straight line. Next, take out the waist that's for the back of the six pieces blouse. I'll be marking 0.5 inch on both sides this way. After marking the 0.5 inch for the waist that, next you connect to 1 inch above the boss point. But before then, we'll be going up by 1 inch above the boss point this way. After marking, you connect that point to the waistline using a straight line. After connecting, this is what you should have. Next, we'll be going up by 2 inch from the hem line. After going up by 2 inch from the hem line, you connect to the waistline to draw the dart for the lower part of the blouse. This is what the dart should look like after drawing. The next thing we're going to be doing is to draw the armhole line. For the back, we're not taking any darts for the back. What I'll do is to locate the midpoint of the armhole which is four inch after which i'll connect to one inch above the bust point to draw the style line for the back using a slight curve so next we're going to be inserting the bust the waist and the hip circumference the bust i'm working with is 36 divided by four is nine i'm going to be inserting the nine on the chest line then the waist measurement is 31 divided by 4 is 7.5 plus this 1 inch for that. So we are going to be replacing it here. Then for the hip, the hip measurement I'm working with is 39 divided by 4 is 9.75. I'll mark it at this point after which I'll connect the three points together. After connecting the three points together, next is to draw the neck width for the back of the six pieces blouse the neck width for the front and the back is the same thing here i have 3.5 i use 3.5 for the front also here we have 3.5 then the neck depth i'm going to be using 1.5 inch for the neck depth after which i'll connect the two points together using a curve you can use whatever neckline you want to use for the back the choice is yours to make so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to cut it out i'm going to be cutting it out separately after which i'll be attaching a paper to draw out the flea for the six pieces blouse before finishing up the cutting i'm going to be drawing the armhole for the back of the six pieces blouse after which i'll cut it out
This is what the back is going to look like after cutting it out. Next, I'll be fixing the paper to the center and to the side panel so that I'll be able to draw the flay for the back of the six pieces blouse. I'm going to be starting with the center panel of the back of the six pieces blouse. The first thing I'm going to be doing is to attach a masking tape to the side of the paper this way. After attaching the masking tape, next I'll be placing the center back of the six pieces blouse on it this way after attaching it the next thing i'm going to be doing is to extend the hemline of the center back and mark the three inch for the flay of the six pieces remember for the front the the flay we used was three inch so I'm, i'll be using three inch for the back also after marking the three inch point the next thing i'm going to be doing is to connect the waist to the hem using a straight line this is what it should look like after connecting. Next, I'm going to be cutting it out. This is what it should look like after cutting. Next, to move over to cut the side flay. For the side flay, I'm also going to be adding my masking tape on the side of the paper this way. After which, I'm going to be fixing the side panel of the blouse on it like this next I will extend the line also like we did for the center panel after extending the line I'm going to be marking the 3 inch for the flay for the side after marking the 3 inch I'll connect to the waist using a straight line this is what it will look like. Next, we are going to be coming up by one inch on the side like we did for the front. Remember, we came up by one inch on the side of the front, after which I'll connect using a slight curve like this. Next, I'm going to be cutting it out, after which we'll go over to the other side of the side panel. For the other side of the panel, I'm going to be using the same method I used for the other side. First, I'll attach the masking tape, after which I'll place the side panel on it this way. Next, I'll extend the line of the hem of the blouse. After extending the line, I'm going to be marking the 3 inch for the flay. After marking the 3 inch for the flay, I'll connect to the waistline of the blouse, after which I'm going to be cutting it out. After attaching the flay, this is what the side panel of the blouse is going to look like. And here we have the center panel of the six pieces blouse. This is what the back panel is going to look like. And here we have the front panel of the six pieces blouse. When cutting on your fabric, you are going to be cutting the center panel of the six pieces blouse on fold and you add 0.5 inch sewing allowance on this part. And you add your sewing allowance on the side of the blouse and also you add 0.5 on the hem of the blouse. In the next tutorial, we are going to be learning how to sew the six pieces blouse. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe, like and also drop a comment. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.